Hey guys, Mr. Klein here, and I am in New Orleans, Louisiana. Behind me back here is the Mississippi River. Now, if you look in front of me, or actually more this way, you'll see that the river level is much higher than the French Quarter and the Vucare and all of this around here. But why is this the case? Well, the short answer is this levee I'm standing on is keeping New Orleans from flooding, but the answer is a little more complicated. Now, in this phenomenon explained short, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain why the elevation difference is so much ships like the steamboat Natchez back there regularly sail above people's heads over there in the town. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So first off, let's define a levee. It's an earthen wall that keeps areas from being flooded. The term used actually varies a bit. Here in Louisiana, we use the term levee, which comes from the French. It means, it's a user verb that means to raise. Other places will use the word dike that comes from the Dutch term that means a ditch and a revetment on top of it. It's essentially the same thing. Now levees originated in the ancient river civilization. You know, the ones the Egyptians and the Sumerians you learned in middle school. And the reason was the towns and crops were regularly flooded by the spring floods. A levee puts a barrier between rising floodwaters and the land behind it. Now, it's a great idea, but not without some consequences. So rivers consist of liquid water, and that means that the river will fill its container, which in this case is the available area it can fill up. So normally, rivers reside in a floodplain where through erosion and naturally occurring levees, floodwaters will fill up that area. Kind of like this. So I've poured about 500 milliliters of water into this container. Artificial levees will actually contain this water. So what happens is the floodplain stays dry because the container holding the water is narrower. And as a result, the water level rises, kind of like this. Water levels here, but before it was filling up this whole area. So because this area is more narrow, that means the river level gets higher. And that's the simple answer for river levels being higher than the land around it. But I can hear your next question already. How high do the levees have to be? Well, like here in the French Quarter, well, the answer is a bit more complicated. So in the case of the Mississippi River, the river is almost totally impounded by levees or the cliffs of the Mississippi River Valley Wall. As you can guess, this made the container to holds the river smaller, which means that the levees had to be higher. And this continues in a cycle because after all, levees need constant tending, especially here in South Louisiana because of the phenomenon known as subsidence, which is where the land is actually sinking. Now that makes things complicated, but that really isn't the worst of it. Now the Mississippi River doesn't like to cooperate with any of this impounding, and it actually makes the whole process even more complicated. So you see, the Mississippi River is heavily laden with sediment. That's why it's so brown. And when rivers flood, they lay down this sediment and across the floodplain, which makes the floodplain great for agriculture. But when the river's impounded and there's no flooding, the sediment stays in the river channel. So what this means is that the bottom begins silting up. And since there's nowhere else for the silt to go, well, this makes the river channel shallower which means as a result, the normal river level becomes higher and higher, which means, you guessed it, the levees need to be higher. So you can see on this scatter graph that historically with river flood levels, which are rising over time due to the fact that the rising channel level in Louisiana. The 1927 Mississippi River flood devastated the Southern Mississippi River Valley, but its crest was lower than the 2019 flood that's only had isolated levee breaches in Arkansas and Missouri. Now, as you can see, even here in New Orleans, the river levels are actually still within the Army Corps of Engineers tolerances, meaning the amount of water flowing down the river is less than in 1927. But because of higher levees and increasing sedimentation, the river stage is higher than ever. So there you go. That's why that tanker behind me is floating higher than the people in front of me in the French Quarter. Levees are great for protecting cities and farmland, but when it comes to rivers, there's a whole lot of unintended consequences that make dealing with the river way more complicated than it might be, actually, if it was just left alone. This was a phenomenon explained short. Quick explanations for things we observe in the world around us. This video aligns to the next generation science standards and related science standards, like the Louisiana Student Standards for Science. This aligns to MS ESS 3-2 and MS ESS 3-3. If you like this video, click the like button to show your support. If you want to see more content like this, click on the subscribe button. Also click on the bell icon to be notified of new releases. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. And thanks for watching. Mm. Hot beignets. No good.